Bob Becker Sr., the fellow that put Saginaw Valley State University athletics on the map, he passed away October 19, 2008. Accepting a plaque for the late Bob Becker Sr. is his son, Bob Becker Jr. Please help me welcome Bob Becker Jr. I think this was a lot easier before I saw the video. Um, and, and, uh, on behalf of my mother and my two brothers, it's a great honor for me to be here amongst so many wonderful folks to receive this honor from my father. Uh, as, as you heard, you know, Dad has been recognized a number of ways. Um, but I, I don't think there's an honor that would mean more to him than to be here and inducted into this Hall of Fame among so many who have done so much for the people of Saginaw. Uh, you know, we, we saw many of the things he did at Saginaw Valley. What you didn't get to see was a dad, you know, that I grew up with. Uh, he would tote myself and my brothers along to Boytown basketball where he would open that center up from 8 in the morning until noon for a lot of young people in Saginaw. Um, in, in fact, we had the opportunity to be coached by our dad. <clears throat> he, uh, he loved his county. The golf program that, that he fathered at Saginaw Valley did a lot of great things and involved a lot of great people. Uh, but he was more than that. He made it his, his life's work to make sure that the children of Saginaw County knew they had a place to go and they had, they had a chance to be something through the athletic programs at Saginaw Valley State. Athletics was my dad's ticket to college. Uh, he left Arthur Hill as, a, as an all-state basketball player and went to Eastern Michigan on a basketball scholarship. Uh, he was the youngest of 11 and the only one to attend and graduate from college. Now, his going to Eastern was very important to me because that's where he met and married my mother. When Dad finished school, he could have gone any number of places, but he came back to Saginaw. It was where he'd grown up. It was where he had competed, and he returned to give back to this great community. As, as, as a young man, Dad would always sit and talk about the people who came before him, many of whom are on, on the wall behind us. And then there are those who are on that wall and in this room that were his peers. I don't think there's a greater gift that a father can give to a young man to, as to surround him with the quality of, young, uh, of men who are his peers that we can look up to. There are so many of you in this room who I know because my dad associated with you. And you provided a role model, not just for me and for my two brothers, but for countless young men in the county of Saginaw. And I want you to know that you continue to provide that. Saginaw County's gift to athletics is deep and a rich tradition. Your gift to the community is in the way you handle yourself and give back. And so on, again, on behalf of my father, I'd like to thank you for recognizing him with this greatest award of his life. Thank you.